Okay, so right now I'm working on packing for a camping trip that I'm going to Pool Knobs on the Percy Priest. Should be fun, let's go. I forgot one of the hooks at home for the Eno. So an alternative route is to bring the knot through the desired hoop and then bring the rest of the strap through the ropes here and pull it tight and it still works So for now it's going to be probably a little sketchy, especially with the knot right there, but I got it set up. Ta-da! It should be a cozy night. It's a success! <laughs> Abby. Abby doesn't like the tent. This weekend we're gonna have some bubble freaking fun. Yep. How old are you turning? I'm going to be 22 next week. And this is how adults have fun, the proper way. <laughs> well, I don't see an adult here. There's no adult here. There's somewhere between adults and children. Like, adults don't exist. We get our bills paid, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> we pay, pay our bills enough that we our can. Our main goal is to not end up in debt by the time we're 25. Say no to drugs, kids. Say no to drugs. Okay, like you said, yes to drugs. You always say perhaps to drugs. things that I should have remembered whenever I was leaving for camping or usually any time that I leave for vacation when I cannot make a quick trip back to the house. 
On this camping trip, these are the things that I had forgot. A dog collar. It was awkward when I needed to chain up Abby and I had to wrap a chain around her throat like she was a rapid animal. Two, a dog bowl to put water in. I brought a dog dish for her food, but I had forgot her dog bowl. Number three, my tripod. I wanted to bring my tripod and I forgot it, which it wasn't that big of a deal, but it would have made filming a little bit more convenient and I would have got a little bit more better opportunity to film with it. Number four, bug spray. That is a essential. I didn't think I was to bring bug spray. I was a guest that was going on a camping trip, so I kind of assumed that they might have it. They did have citronella candles, but no bug spray. I was a buffet for the mosquitoes, and I have bug bites in every little part, part of my body, all of it, just every last bit of it, it's terrible. Also, here's another thing, do not procrastinate. Make sure you pack and have time to stop and think for the things that you need to get because I rushed right out that door not thinking about anything. Also, do not second guess yourself. I was gonna bring Bluetooth, I was gonna bring a bunch of like Christmas lights, but I, again, assumed since I was gonna be a guest to not bring those things because usually every time I go somewhere, someone always has a Bluetooth speaker. Now don't get me wrong, there were two people here that did have Bluetooth speakers. Uh, originally, once we started talking about it, nobody was like, we didn't bring one because we were in a hurry, but luckily someone came in clutch and we were able to have access to that. But just in case, that could not always be the case, so make sure you bring stuff that you might need to have because it's better safe than sorry, so it's better to have more of than less of. Also, I decided to bring two packs of marshmallows that had been sitting in my cabinets for maybe a month or so that I needed to eat up because I tend to like to go out and buy s'mores and everything. I never eat them all. So I brought two packs of marshmallows, get to the campsite, it is, there's an ant farm in my bag. So those got wasted. I was hoping that we'd play Chubby Bunny, but we didn't get the chance to. Other than that, the camping trip was an absolute success. Uh, it was only Friday night to Saturday morning. We had a balloon fight. We swam around in some nasty, <laughs> lukewarm Percy Priest water. Anybody that is from the Nashville area will absolutely understand how disgusting the Percy Priest is. And when I went out there, I haven't swam in it for two years. It was uncomfortably hot, like bath water. There were, just don't swim in that water. It's disgusting. Anyhow, access to it, it's just right around the corner from me here, but it's just, it's not worth it. It's a really gross lake. If you can, drive an hour and a half and enjoy some water that you don't have to question, and also you don't have to question what you're stepping on. You know, if you cut your foot out at the Percy Priest, they're probably gonna have to cut it off. It's probably not that bad, but don't swim in. That's it, thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. It was a fun trip, thank you again. Um, thanks. <laughs>